a deep dive into Meghan Markle's ever-changing faces. Same woman, different faces. I have nothing against plastic surgery. God knows if I could afford it, I'd probably have something done. But Meghan Markle takes this to a completely different level. Believe it or not, you're going to see and you're going to tell me that if you saw these two women out in the street, you would think that they're the same women. So let's find out and explore a little bit more why Meghan Markle does that to herself. Does she hate herself so much? You know, this is almost like, um, what's it called? This Jenner girl, Kylie Jenner. You know, a leopard doesn't change its spots. Years apart, different countries, same tactics. This is Megan caught with fine flowers and Montecito at a market tasting honey. <laughs> and this is Megan in Toronto, Canada, Toronto, Canada, caught buying flowers. Of course, in both occasions, she has called the paps. So you see, no matter what, same old tactics, calling the paps on herself to be picture taken, you know, buying flowers. I mean, this woman is truly desperate, huh? Why can't she be original for once? <laughs> Hello, beautiful people, yay. Thanks to those who have bought the mug and the t-shirts, all the proceeds go to the school. Uh, thanks for the PayPal donations and the super chats. Right now in the rainy season, we need it. And with all the donors, and many, many major organizations have been kicked out of the country. It's, most, it's greatly appreciated. Now, I know what you're gonna say, Paula, there's nothing wrong with plastic surgery. And I completely agree, God knows. You know, it, I would have something done for my neck. But Meghan Markle takes it to a whole new level because this is Meghan Markle during suits. Her shape, the, the shape of her face, her, her mouth, her nose, her ears are completely different. And this is now. I mean, for now, anyways. She's right now with that face, she's looking like she's a completely different woman. The eyes are bigger, the nose is up, you know, the space between here and here, the lips are fuller, even the teeth are completely different. There's not a resemblance between the Mega Markle I showed you to this Mega Markle. Because even her nose that she claimed to love has changed. I mean, I could be wrong. But this is like the Kylie Jenner, you know, like the Kardashians have taken it to a new level or Khloe Kardashian, you know, that woman, she used to be pretty. What happened to her? They, they disfigure themselves into something completely different. And this is what's happened to Meghan Markle. And I don't know why. It is funny because before she wanted to have her lips look thinner than they were because, you know, Thick lips look black. And she was sorry. She was trying to raise everything black about her. Her hair. Completely gone. You know, I understand some women like to straighten their hair. That's absolutely fine. But they do it for different reasons. Meghan Markle, I believe, did it because she did not want to look mixed. She did not pe she did not people she did not want people to know she was of mixed heritage or at least black. There's a difference, you know, when, when I've seen women of other ethnicities straighten their hair or curl their hair um, because they like to try the fashion or something like that. But Meghan Markle didn't do it for fashion reasons. She did it because she hated the fact that people looked at her Afro hair. Immediately, people would say she's of black heritage. That's that's my very personal opinion. Meghan Markle erasing, erasing her features has nothing to do with wanting to look better, but instead to try and erase any link to black heritage. Okay, now it's, it's you know, the nose. If you look at the nose in, in the first picture I showed you, 
the nose in that picture is very razor sharp, incredibly razor sharp, and it has nothing to do with makeup. Because if you look at her nose thing here, it's also down like that. I don't even know how to do it, but it's down like this. There's, um, there's longer space, thinner upper lip, even here, and I think that they can, you, you, I don't know what they do, but apparently they can inject Botox or something so you look like, like this because her face is like, I mean, completely, I mean, it's a complete hard triangle at the bottom. And then the other one now that we see, her eyes are bigger. Probably she had a, an eye, you know, an eye surgery because this is, this other picture, the first picture was taken back in her suit state. So her eyes are her natural size. But now we see that her eyes are, are way bigger and that can only happen when you have a, something, I don't know what they call it, this operation that, you know, they take skin of your eye and then you end up with big eyes. I don't need to do that because, I, I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I do have big eyes. People always told me that my eyes are like owls. But Meghan Markle change even everything and even her forehead is different where her how her eyebrows sit and it has nothing to do with plucking her eyebrows no this is a complete change in forehead eye shape eye where the uh, eyebrows sit the nose now the nose remember in the first picture her nose is sharp down now her nose is Her nose is sticking up, you know, like pointy, sticking up, much bigger space, less space here, much fuller lips. Her teeth are completely different. I mean, what is she trying to prove? Wasn't she proud of her father's nose? She was proud of her father's nose. I got the Markle nose. Yes, and she was proud of it because it wasn't her mother's black nose. She loved her freckles because in her sick mind, in her sick racist mind, freckles made her look white. Freckles are associated with her being ginger, you know, like her father being, you know, Irish. It's, it's, and there's a difference when, I, I repeat myself, there's a difference when you're doing it to improve yourself, to look better, there's something that you're not happy with, but when you're doing it to erase a, an entire heritage. And now she's claiming she's 43% Nigerian. Where are all her black friends? Where are all her black friends? The 4th of July was in Montecito. She didn't look for a black air area in California to go celebrate the 4th of July with black people. No, she remained in Montecito with her two very white kids celebrating it among white, white people. That's what she chose to do. Even her mother wasn't around. Why wasn't her mother around? You know, even that pap walk she did going to the Montecito market alone. Where is her mother? It was a fun day, sunny day, you know, to take your children to the market. No, she takes the beagle back again because and when there's no dogs allowed. I wonder if she misunderstood that for no husbands allowed and it's no dogs allowed, man. You know, it's no dogs, not no husbands. You could have taken your children to the farmer's market and there's absolutely no way that Meghan Markle was walking alone while she was being filmed walking on her own. Where was the bodyguard? The bodyguard is not anywhere to be found because pretty much he's the one filming that thing. Because where is he? So he lets his principal walk completely on her own to this market. I mean, it is so embarrassing. So Meghan Markle doesn't even want to be photographed nor surrounded by Doria unless, of course, there's a purpose to it because Meghan Markle doesn't want to be erased, doesn't want to be associated to, to anything that has to do with black people. Why hasn't she, you know, connected with black causes, like a cause for the black people? Other than receiving the award from the NAACP, which is quite embarrassing, she touted her mother. The same thing with uh, Gloria Steinem. 
she touted her black mother while erasing all of her mixed heritage features. So why is Meghan Markle hating herself so much? You know, and, and, and it's just like Kylie Jenner, she can't stop, or like Khloe Kardashian. You can see that these women have some psychological trauma because now Meghan Markle is trying to look like Princess Diana in her younger years. The fact that now she shows her teeth at the bottom of the front, wearing her jewelry, her, 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 her watch, you know, it's like, it's not a good thing. And as I said, if I had the money, I would probably do this because, you know, I, this I hate, I hate. Of course, I'm self-conscious about it. But even for makeup, I have never been one uh, kind of person who likes to wear a lot of makeup because I, I don't like to hide who I am. I like, you know, if you take good care of your skin, if you have nice skin as much as possible, you don't need that much makeup. You know, you just enhance your eyes a little bit, your lips. But that's just a personal opinion. You know, I see now young girls that put a ton of makeup on when they're young and they don't need it because their skin must be supple and full of collagen. So, but why do you think, do you think Meghan Markle uh, does plastic surgery and has changed her appearance so much because she's unhappy with herself and there's something, I mean, she's trying to be perfect and her idea of what perfect is keeps changing? Why isn't she happy with herself? Why, why can't she just get along with herself? It's something, you know, that, that she keeps talking about being proud, being 43% Nigerian while living in the whitest, the most whitest or the most white, you know, the whitest possible life that she can. Why can't she? I mean, and I don't understand this. Please help me understand this, people in the black community. Why are you claiming her as one of your own when she clearly has told you repeatedly by her actions that she's not? What gives?